Hi guys, today in the video I want to take a look at uh, and show you guys some of the range of Zanac rods. Now if you haven't heard of Zanac before, they make some of the best fishing, tack uh, fishing rods on the market. Handmade in Japan, they honestly they're, they're probably the nicest fishing rods you will ever pick up. And we've just had a really good restock of, of some really popular models that have been a little bit hard to get lately. So I wanted to run you through some of the models today, have a bit of a look at them, see what reels we, we match up with them, and just give you guys a bit of a look at some of these handmade Japanese rods. First up, I want to give you a look at a range that we haven't been able to get a ha uh, our hands on for a number of months now. It's probably, probably been close to six months. I'm um, really excited to have this particular model back in stock. So um, it's the Black Art Sparado, or what do you call it? Sparado Black Art series. And the particular model that I'm talking about is the seven foot wide shooter. Now, this thing is a really nice seven foot rod. It's two to eight pounds, matches perfectly with a 2000 to 2500 size reel, and it's ideal for light tackle fishing. So if you're fishing for brim, flathead, anything that's light tackle, this rod is really going to handle it perfectly. It's ultra light in the hand and matched, I've actually matched it up with a Daiwa Arity 2500 and this combo weighs next to nothing. Comes with Fuji Torzite guides. Now the Torzite guides are the latest guide from Fuji. They're ultra lightweight, got the real thin um, Torzite frame, so you get a really, really good cast, and it makes the tip of the rod very crisp because the guides are very lightweight. Now, the Sparado features a really nice locking nut. It's an aluminium locking nut, and it fits really, really nice in your hand. It's ultra comfortable, very nice for, for light tackle fishing. So, this particular rod is back in stock, guys, the wide shooters. Get onto them quick, though, if you want one, because I know there's uh, quite a few people chasing these. They're back in stock now, and it's definitely one, if you're light tackle fishing, well worth checking out. The next rod that we're going to take a look at in the range, which is extremely popular, I actually use one of these in the spin version a lot myself, and it's been one of my favorite jigging rods, but it's the Akari 64. Now, these are available in a spin and in an overhead, and we've just got the spins back in stock, but the one that we've been waiting for for ages has been the overhead. Now, the overheads have just come back in stock. And these things are awesome with a Saltiga 2215, or they work really well with Saltiga lever drag in the size 10. They match perfectly, you know, running P2.5 to P3 braid. The cool thing about the Akari rods is they're a solid carbon rod. So there's no, they're not hollow. I don't know if you can see this here but the entire blank of the rod, they're also two piece, but the entire blank of the rod is solid. So you can put some serious pressure on with these Akari rods. I'm not gonna say they're not gonna break, but they will take a lot more punishment than um, some of your other lighter jigging rods. They're also ultra lightweight, so they weigh next to nothing. They all have uh, Fuji Torzite guides. So if you can see here, the guides are extremely small. So, you know, the, the rod's very crisp. It's got a very nice action, and the tip of the rod is very, um, it's very light, so it's easy to impart action on the, on the jig. One thing I like about them as well, they've got a really good quality Fuji locking nut reel seat, so the reel's on both the spin and the overhead. The reel is really secured into the reel seat. And the action on these rods, I mean, I'm sure if you've watched our channel before, you would have seen me using the Akari spin rod. Really, really comfortable action, and they've got a lot of power in the base of the rod. You know, you can really give it to them on the, uh, when you're trying to get a fish up. The, the overhead ones, they've just come back into stock, guys. So if you're looking for the ultimate overhead slow pitch jigging rod, then you, you really have to have a look at the Zanak Ikari. Um, again, like, like all the other Zanaks, handmade in Japan uh, to the absolute just the best quality that you can you can get. That's one to check out for all you guys that are into the jigging rods. So the rod I'm gonna show you next, I absolutely love this rod and I just wish I had more of an opportunity in my local fishing to be able to actually use it. Unfortunately, um, you know, we don't really get a lot of those big fish local where we can use this type of rod. So I gave it a really good workout, uh, workout on my last trip up north and this is the Zanak uh, Simpa. So this is a 88 foot three. It's kind of like a, 
I guess, medium heavy stick baiting light popping rod. So it's rated P3 to P8, and I actually fish P6 on this rod, and I match it with a 14,000 um, extra high speed surtape. Also matches really well with a, a Soltiga. But this rod, I find it's really good for light GT fishing. If you're spinning for Spanish mackerel, uh, maybe if you're spinning for you know reef fish, you know slightly bigger reef fish, it's just a really good all rounder rod up north. You know you can run kind of like 150 pound liters through the guides and it casts no worries. Uh, running with P6 line, I was getting an absolute belter of a cast, but it's just a great all rounder rod. Now this rod will cast 65 to 130 gram weight, so it's you know kind of a good medium sized lure. Um, real nice uh, action in the tip, so it's it's really easy to work a stick bait. That's what I found with this rod. It's really really easy to get a good action out of your stick bait. They've got really really um, heavy duty guides, Fuji guides. And the one thing that they do with the Simpar as well, which I'll give you a look at, is at the tip, if you can see here, the, the last guide is really close to the tip. It's almost like half the distance of what a normal normal guide would, would be placed at. And the reason that they do this is so that you don't get any tip wraps. And that's one thing that I noticed, I've, or, or any foul cast, I get, don't get very many foul casts or, or hookups where the line wraps around the tip on this rod. I, I think it really does work and it makes a difference. So it looks a little bit funky, but that's what that guide is there for. The base of the rod, they have heavy duty Fuji uh, reel seats. So, you know, the nice big oversized locking nut. Um, your reel doesn't ever come loose in it and it's really comfortable. And the, the base of the, the rod, the grip is uh, nice, nice length. You know, you've got your nice uh, butt section. The other thing that they have on this rod as well, because it is two piece here, I'll show you, is the, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but um, the front grip is triangular, or he they call it hexagonal grip or something along those lines. Once you fish with a, like a GT or a, you know, popping stick baiting rod that's got this type of grip, it just fits in your hand so nice and it's so comfortable, and it just gives you a bit more I don't know if it gives you a bit more fighting power, but when you're actually fighting the fish, it, it's just so much more comfortable than a standard round rod, uh, round gripped rod, which, you know, you kind of got to use it to understand what I'm talking about, but it really is comfortable. So um, Simpa 83 Hiramasa, that's one that you'll want to check out if you're looking for a, a really nice stick baiting rod running, you know, PE6 kind of lines. Next up, I'm gonna give you a look at the Snipe 72. Now, we've just got these back into stock, and I really do like this rod. <laughs> Seems like every Zanac that I pick up, I, I like. I just, <laughs> that when you pick one up, you'll understand what I mean. But this one is a seven foot two rod, and it's it's rated up to P2. So you can run P1.5, P2 line on it, and it'll cast up to 35 grams. Now, this is really good for throwing small stick baits, and soft plastics on the flats. Really good if you're targeting like Tuskies, Spangled Emperor, Pink Snapper, that type of thing. They are a two-piece rod, and they do join in the midsection of the rod, but it's a really good two-piece join. So you've got a spigot that goes in to the um, main part of the blank, and then the rod will, uh, the tip piece will sit on top of the spigot. Got a really nice, really nice firm join. The rods are very stiff, and but they're very crisp. So for putting action into, whether you're using a vibe, a stick bait, a soft plastic, very crisp rod. So there's a, a couple of different models in the range. There's uh, four models to be exact in the range, and they're all very similar type of action. Quite stiff, really easy to get a good distance and put action in. The 72 is one to really look at if you're doing any boat fishing. I think this one um, really fits into the, the arsenal quite well. Good for local snapper fishing, tailor. This would actually be a really good rod out at the fads as well, throwing for, for Mahi Mahi. But I've matched it, this one up here with a 5000 Surtate, extra high speed. And I think this, this combo here is, I think this is a winner right here. You know, you put PE2 line on this, absolutely you're gonna cast a mile and you're gonna be able to stop some really nice fish. So if you're looking for a really kind of high end premium casting outfit, um, you know, PE2, the Snipe 72, definitely a really nice one to have a look at.
I don't really do a lot of land based fishing myself and I definitely don't do this type of fishing but a rod that is very popular for us for guys that are heading north to Steep Point, Quabba, all those kind of places and they're spinning from Spanish mackerel, cobia, GTs from shore. We sell a lot of this rod and it, it's a very hard rod to compete against because it just, I think they've nailed it, but it's the Muthos Acura 100 Double H. Now, this rod, it matches perfectly with a high speed 14,000 size reel running kind of P3, uh, P6, P8 type of lines. This particular 100 Double H is rated P3 to P6, but when you actually pick up this rod, it's right, I feel it's more of a P5, P6 rod. And if I was using it, I'd probably, yeah, I'd be running probably P6, just for a little bit more stopping power. Really, really good casting rod. The rod will cast 40 to 150 grams. So you'll, you know, whether you're casting, um, you know, like 85 gram raiders or whether you're casting stick baits or diving minnows, you'll get a really good cast with this rod. What they do with this rod as well, they, they run the RG guide system. So the RG guide system is a different stripper guide and also um, your next one up from your stripper, but it also features a stack of double foot smaller guides, K-frame um, style guides on the tip. And you can see there's an absolute ton of guides on this rod. And the whole reason for this is so that it stiffens the line, straightens the line out and you'll actually give you a better cast. That also features like I was showing you on the Simpa, um, the guide that's really close to the tip, which eliminates a lot of foul casts and tip wrap. All of the guides are double, double, double foot and double bound. So really heavy duty, good quality bindings on those. Again, we've got another spigot join, like on the other rod I was just showing you. We've got the triangular type uh, foregrip. So really, really comfortable for fighting a fish. And these have a Fuji Deluxe reel seat, but on this reel seat, they feature a little locking, uh, an additional locking nut. So your reel 100% won't come loose when you're spinning. And then you just have a nice long straight butt. The uh, 100 Double H, that's probably the most popular model that we find that we're selling for guys heading north. Um, spinning off the rocks, it gives you a really good good range of cast uh, well, casting weights. But they also do it in a newer model, which is a 100 Triple H, which is heavier than this. And they also do it in just a standard 100 H. So depending on you know how heavy your lures and what what PE line that you're fishing, that's definitely one rod that you you know if you're doing any of that land based uh, spinning, one rod rod range that you'll want to check out because honestly, once you fish with one of these and you see just how well they cast. It's going to be pretty hard to fish with anything else. The last rod I'm going to show you in this video is one that I use a lot myself. I use it at the fads. I've just used it a hell of a lot when we're up north for light tackle fishing. And it's just a really good all-rounder casting rod on the boat. And that's the Zanac Fakito Longcast, the 78-2. Now, this is a P2-3 to rod, and you can kind of cast up to about 60 grams. Well, they rate it 13 to 60 grams. Um, the ideal weight I found is about that 45 gram casting weight and you will absolutely cast a stick bait a mile with this thing. But really, really good for, for belting lures a long way out of the boat or offshore casting. I've matched mine with a 6,000 size Soltiga, but it also matches really well with a 5,000 size. And you can run, like I said, either, it's kind of P2 to P3, P2.5 is really good on this rod but really nice, really nice grip on the rod. It's got a Fuji Deluxe reel seat with that locking nut, very similar to the Kura. Nice short foregrip. Now, they make this Fakito range in three different weights. So there's a kind of like a P1.5, P2, and a P3. They're all two-piece rods, so they're all two-piece butt join. And we have Fuji guides. So we have a Fuji double foot stripper guide, K guide. Got another double foot K guide there, and then it goes down to single foot guides. And they're just a really good all round casting rod. I just find I use this rod a lot because it's such a it's such a handy rod. I can catch tailor on it, I can catch tuna on it, I can catch dolphin fish. I just take, like I said, I was taking it up north last week and I was catching spangled emperor, caught Spanish mackerel on it. It's, it's just a very all round rod. I generally run P3 line through it and 
do everything with it. I kind of, th this is one rod I kind of take out nearly all the time with me whenever I'm going fishing because, you know, I always have a stick bait rigged up ready in, in case I see something busting up. But these have just come back into stock. You know, they can be hard to get. So if you want a really good quality casting rod, guys, then check out the Fakito range. I'm gonna wrap the video up there guys, but that's a couple of the latest Zanac rods that we've just got back into stock. And just some of my favorite ones that I kind of wanted to show you and give you a bit of a look at. So guys, as with all Zanac rods, they do come in batches. You know, they're not always all available. And we do try to carry, well, we pretty much, if it's available, we carry them in stock. You know, if you do want to get your hands on one and it's available at that time, make sure you grab it because, you know, you might not, not know when you're going to get it again. Guys, you'll find Zanac rods in our both of our stores, in our Beckenham store and our Osmond Park store. And you can also find them online at tacklewest.com.au.